At the time that I'm uploading this, my entire YouTube channel is currently demonetized because of a YouTube error. Please consider supporting me on my Patreon in the link down in the description. Hello fellow English speakers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, hi guys doing today, welcome to a brand new video and let's conduct a little experiment. I'm gonna read out a couple of sentences in modern day colloquial Russian that an average Russian zoomer might say and let's see if you guys would understand anything. In today's podcast I will tell you a cringe story about how my tiny 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 Блогеры диссили и шеймили друг друга. Okay, guys, the torture is over. Don't click off this video yet. That was torture for Russian speakers as well, though, I'm pretty sure. I realize that all of you native English speakers right now by listening to that, your brain is absolutely broken, you do not understand anything. However, there were definitely quite a few words that you did recognize. What I just read was an excerpt from a famous copy pasta here in Russia about how essentially the modern language of Russian youth is uh, heavily polluted with a lot of uh, Western slang. Me personally, as somebody who studied linguistics and translation in university, this is this is fascinating. So, dear English speakers, do you want to know what cringe means? Maybe you want to know what hype or bite means? Or maybe you want to know what chillit or roflit means? Well, let's get into it, because in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about uh, some examples of how English modern slang is used in modern Russian and the way it gets twisted like crazy and how it's used and how sometimes it is actually breaking my brain. Now, first of all, I need to say that I'm not some sort of grammatical prescriptivist who thinks that you should not use any modern words words when you should stick to like these Russian roots and stick it to the Western influence or whatever. No, language evolves and new words come into the language is completely fine, but just sometimes the way these words get used in Russian is strange to me. Now here's the thing, before we start, I would like to say that the current youth in Russia that uses Western slang, uh, English slang in Russian, I guess you could divide these people into two groups. First of all would be the group of people that are kind of like me, that are more savvy, that kind of know English a little bit, who, have, who might watch a lot of Western YouTube and stuff like that, listen to a lot of Western music. People like us, we know a lot of stuff, you know, we know what drip is, we know what, you know, we know what no cap means, we know what based means. <laughs> but there's also a whole another side of Russian youth today that don't really speak speak English, don't really consume as much Western media, Western YouTube, Western music and stuff like that, but still, some English slang words actually get so deep within the language that even people who don't really know English and no, don't even know the sources of these words start saying them, and it comes to the point where even my parents say shit like this. And these are exactly the words I want to get into first. So the first one is the most infamous one I would like to say, the word hype, which is basically hype, just like in English. It basically means the exact same thing when there's a lot of news, a lot of excitement about something and a lot of media coverage about something, but in Russian it also means popularity. And the word hype has become so huge that at this point even governmental officials have been spotted saying this word. It's being said on TV all the time and there's even like, a, for example, there's even like a mobile carrier tariff by a company named MTS, which is literally called MTS Hype. What is, what is going on? <laughs> And it can also be a verb, uh, хайпануть. Тот чувак неплохо хайпанул на ютубе. Да он все делает ради хайпа. So yeah, hype is definitely one of these words that like my grandma even knows at this point. It's being so widely used. Let's move on to the second one, which actually annoys the living crap out of me. The word is byte. The word byte already exists in Russian language. It means byte, for example, you know, like gigabytes, megabytes, that, whatever. You guys might probably think it probably means two bytes, you know. For example, in music, biting is when you steal somebody's like beat or somebody's flow or somebody's aesthetic. You you're a biter. Well, you guys are completely wrong because in Russian, bite means bait. For example, you would say some like, uh, on меня забайтил. It does not mean he bit me or he bited off of me, you know, he stole my flow and my rap or whatever. It means he baited me. And it is actually pissing me off because like, it's supposed to be, it's, why is it bite in Russian? Why is it not bait? If you're gonna steal a word from the English language, at least pronounce it properly, it's pissing me off, dude. Well, let's move on to the next one. The next one, which is actually huge right now, which, um, is honestly, <laughs> I cannot escape myself. I say this all the time. The word is cringe and it means cringe. Cringe. Sure, quite literally. <laughs> this word is fucking massive right now in Russia. Everybody in Russia is going around cringe, 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 cringe. Like fucking hell, it's come to a point where somebody like Alexander Dugin, uh, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he's a, a very influential person in the world of not just Russian, but worldwide politics. Even he uses the word cringe. Это на самом деле действительно cringe. Это торжество cringe. What? What is going on? Well, I need to point out that he also used the word based as well. <laughs> 
Based. Uh... I I cannot escape it. Every single day of my life, probably I use that word at least a few times. I say cringe in Russian all the time, and it's it's just a good word to use, dude. It's so good. It fits so much into one word. It's perfect. Now the next word I would also like to mention is the word flex, which quite literally means uh to flex. Flexing is in, you know, showing off your, you know, expensive possessions or your money and stuff like that. And in general, the word flex is also used to describe, like, something sick. So, for example, somebody pulls up in a cool car with a cool outfit, people could be like, flex. <laughs> Like, go off king, essentially. You know, it's pretty good. I, I like this one, to be completely honest. I, I do. I do. The next word I would like to point out is the word chill, which is actually just means chill. Uh, <laughs> the whole last week, I was not working. I was just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Yeah, this one is also super widespread. You know, not to the point where my parents would know it or anything like that. But yeah, it's pretty popular. Another one I would like to point out from the ones that are very widespread is uh, fast, which literally means fast. So, for example, you might say some like... Also very, very widely used right now. Pretty much everybody, you know, in Russia who's young knows this, even if they don't speak English. Next two words I would like to quickly go over are words top and drop. So top means top, uh, basically, you know, and it's in Russian it means the best, the greatest. So for example, you would say some like Morgan Top, which means Morgenstern is the greatest rapper. <laughs> Which is the truth, by the way. I am a full-on Morgenstern fanboy for now on, guys. You know, fucking judge me. Not better than Blade, though. For example, you have the adjective topovy, which means the, just the top in the form of adjective. On nanyo sibi a topovova advokata. And the word drop um, is usually used as an, a, a verb, actually, which means to drop, to quit doing something. Ana nedavno dropnula svojevo parnje. So at this point, I think I've covered all the words um, that are of English slang that are used by the people who don't re really even uh, spend a lot of time on Western internet, who don't know English and stuff like that. Now let's move on to words that are slightly less popular, you know, not as widespread, but still hugely popular because at the amount of people who actually, you know, spend their time on like TikTok, on Western YouTube and stuff like that in Russia right now is increasing. It's very big. So the first word is crush, which literally means crush in a sense that you have a crush on someone. You can use it as a noun. So for example, you would say, uh, ты мой crush. It can also be turned into a verb. So for example, you would say, она вкрашилась с него сразу же. This word is really popular right now. A lot of people use it and, uh, it's mainly coming from TikTok because um, the majority of the people that I see that use this word are female, uh, young Russian females who uh, use a lot of TikTok. So yeah, definitely a lot of TikTok influence. TikTok is uh, educating the Russian youth about uh, Western slang. Next word that uh, I have to mention is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny how this word got so widespread is the word kukold. Uh, which actually means cuckold or cuck. You know, cuck is a word that's used a lot by like people on 4chan or whatever, sort of edgelord to insult somebody and stuff like that. And in Russia, it's basically used in the exact same way. So a lot of people who follow especially Western politics and especially Western discourse on Twitter and stuff like that, they sort of started using that word and now more and more people use it. If you're ever on a Russian forum and somebody insults you and calls you a cuckold because of your political beliefs or something like that, do not be surprised, you know. Uh, you already know what it means, thanks to me, no fuckers. Vegas. And I guess another couple of words which I would like to mention are words uh, decent, shame it, e lame. So decent literally means to diss somebody. А вы помните как Eminem задисил Машин Ганкели? And the word shame it means to shame, and it's used a lot of the times uh, in the sense of when people talk about issues of like feminism stuff like that from those sort of communities. When people talk about like slut shaming, fat shaming, etc., all these sort of topics. And the word lame means uh, lame. So if somebody is a lame person, you know, not not cool to be around, not cool to hang out with, stuff like that. Ah, не вообще lame и все. Yeah, you can get called a lame in Russia as well if you're not cool enough. Get with the times and don't be a lame, okay? And I guess the last couple of words I would like to mention are something, is something that, you know, you might find familiar as well. Obviously, it's words like boomer and zoomer. Basically means the exact same thing as it does in English in reference to certain generations. And yeah, I mean, I guess that is pretty much it for today's video. I guess it's kind of a strange video. I don't know what's the point of me teaching you slang you guys already freaking know because, I mean, <laughs> you're English speakers, so you know all these words already. Although I know some people in my comment section didn't know what drip was until I started using it in my videos, which is, uh, you know, get with the times, boomer. That's all I can say. <laughs>
But hopefully you did find this video interesting. Um, uh, you know, this sort of list of uh, different English slang and modern Russian used by Russians right now. Obviously, I did not cover everything. You know, there's a lot of words. There's a lot more to cover. There's a ton that I didn't mention in this video. But I wanted to sort of, um, I sort of made this little list of the words that I think are the most popular, the most commonly used nowadays, and the most relevant. So yeah, guys, I guess that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to just slap the like button in this video, subscribe to my channel, donate to my Patreon, you know, if you want to support me, if you want to support what I do, I would very much appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. The link is down in the description. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.